It is cold. Ooh. Yo, it's so cold, but Nick got something. And without further ado, we went and did it. So pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like a spider. Ah, good morning. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to yet another video. Slept in today, feels great. I was up late, 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 packing all the Pokemon that sold out completely, and we'll get more into that in a little bit here. We're at my mom's, and there's a whole lot of orders to be packed. We've gotten labels on all these, still working on all of these, and all these. And that's about halfway. So if you want to get any Pokemon, go to the site right now. Sign packs available, total of six cards. You hit a guaranteed reverse holo or holo card and possibly even a GXV, all that sort of stuff. You get a shiny card no matter what. PC signature packs right there. For all of you that have been buying up the collection of individual sign cards, we just dropped a bunch more of that too. I literally restocked the entire site with more stuff. This time, they even got sealed packs, a bunch of sealed vintage packs, and then some more mystery tins as well. So go to the site, there's new stuff there. Top link in the description, Without further ado, back to the video. Today, I think we're gonna do some really cool stuff. I know for a fact I wanna go get some stuff with the saltwater tank. Let's just feed this guy because he, he doesn't stop. Eat up my minions. Here he comes, here he comes, there it is. All four ducklings over there. Where's mama? What are you guys crying about over here, huh? You two, you're like whining. I'm gonna feed you. There comes mama, she just woke up. She's like, what the heck's going on? Lock it up, on to the next. We got goat food, and then we got pig food. A lot of corn on the top here. They up oh, there's some grain in there. They love corn though. This turkey's just always out. Oh yeah, turkey talk. There you go. Watch, she knows like how to get in and everything. I don't know why you don't just fly. You, you, know, you, you could fly, you know that. There you go. Scoop. Mama, I got food for you. There's Mama Lulu. Mom, we got, oh gosh, you're getting so big you look like dad. There's dad, Bubba. There's Duke, the only male. See, that's father and son. You got Rosie, Buttercup, Baloo, Daisy. She's got, she's always got like the little flow over. You see her head? Her hair moves like a, like a human. Just combed over. And then we got Pua, the biggest female. Well, not the biggest, but I think, I, I honestly think Baloo is the biggest. Hello, fellas. Woo! All the goats eat. I'm coming, Lady May. Look at Lady May. She's like, you gonna feed me or not? See, I love filming the feeding process. I feel as if it just never gets old. Hi, girl. And a little chicken comes running out. Yeah. Mango! What's up, big dog? A little chicken. I gotta go feed the hogs over there. They're screaming at me. They're like little children. Fresh water. Yeah? Um, I had to put these pallets up because they were getting out of this, like right here and down there. But now that these pallets are there, I mean, they, they're good. All right, now that all the animals are fed, got clean water, bringing you to the 4,000 gallon pond that we need to fill up. But I don't even want to bother filling it up because we're doing all sand. I mentioned if my last video got 30,000 likes, I'd do sand. It got like 28,000, super, super close. So smash the like button here so we can hit 30,000 so I can just do it. I made a deal, it has to hit 30,000 likes before I do it. So smash that like button, almost there. But all this rock is gonna turn into sand. We did a little tester right here and I like the sand a lot better than the rock. I also got a lot of y'all Kaferos opinion and y'all thought the same exact thing. Sand looks amazing. You could actually see the fish so much better now picture that all the way around you know what i'm saying it's gonna look amazing but it's a lot of work i gotta get big coolers get all these fish out as least stressful as possible got to get the water down take all the rock out then put all sand in fill the water up let it clear for a day and then put the fish back in uh, it's a lot more work than it seems we're gonna do it just smash the like button all right without further ado let's get on in to today's video
me some fins? Thanks, Nick. Yep. All right, here, fellas, man. we're here at Cato's Bridge. We're gonna be hopping in the water here in just a second to see if we can find some arrow crabs. That's yep. the goal here today. My mic's probably not on. No, it is, actually. That's Yay. a miracle. So yeah, we got our fins. Just got a nice pair of... Got the we got yellow. We yellow. had to get yellow, not only for thumbnail purposes, because it's just so bright and vibrant. If you lose it, you can find it easy. Yes, if we lose it, we can find it easy. Anyway, we're here, you know, Kato's Bridge. We used to come here all the time, do some underwater stuff. I got the GoPro. Got everything we need to make this absolute banger. It is now time to find, what are we looking for today, huh? We're looking after uh, arrow crabs, little coral banded shrimp, um, little angel fish, anything we could kind of legally. Pretty much anything we could possibly find. That's the goal. See you soon in the water. <laughs> I don't know if Nick thinks I'm a size four, but these things don't fit. It can make it work. It is cold. That might be perfect Sweet. for your tank. We just gotta see what kind he is. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, it's so cold. So cold. It's freezing. What okay. do you wanna do with him? I just release it. You do? Yeah. Here he goes. We're gonna release this guy. Yeah, we're looking for we the don't know what. crab. Look at him. There he goes. Here he went. Okay, it's it's cold. Is it cold? Yeah. It's cold. Okay, it's cold. Listen, anyway. I don't think we're gonna catch him. No? No. It's not looking good? No. I would have seen one by now. It's so usually this super easy to find. We haven't seen one, but what we're doing is, yeah, what we're doing is looking on these pilings over here underwater. There's just a bunch of you know, algae and oysters and snails and all this stuff, and the air crabs are kind of blending with all that. We haven't found any yet. No luck, but uh, we we went all along here, all along there, all on each of these, and and nothing, and <laughs> Nick, the Nick shaking like a leaf. I'm shaking my coat. You're not even in the water. Can you hear me well? Nope. I know sometimes the water gets in the mic and you can't hear me. We're gonna take one more lap through here. See if we can find anything. If not, we still have fun time snorkeling. Yo, it's so cold, but Nick got something. We are back home and I've got an arrow crab here right in front of me. The legs are sticking out. We've got a little bubbler on them just because I couldn't get home right away. And look at that thing right there. We'll get a closer look with better lighting here in just a second. Now, before we go any further, I gotta get the tank lights on because they automatically kind of shut off as the day goes on. Tommy was at my house doing a tank cleaning the other day and I asked him this question. Can I get an arrow crab? And this is what he had to say. Uh, so arrow crabs, not something that I generally recommend, but yeah. if you keep a watchful eye, a lot of times they're fine. Uh, okay. You just want to make sure that it's not going to be literally grabbing the food out of the mouths of the corals after you feed them, because mm -hmm. that can cause physical damage. Um, and you want to make sure that uh, you know they're not messing with anything else. Sometimes they will, especially feather dusters. You know yep. they they look like that because they're evolved to eat annelid worms, bristle worms, feather dusters, things like that. They stick their arm deep in the hole pinch the segment and their claws are literally evolved to pinch the segment, causing the least amount of harm to the worm as possible. They're farming the worms in their territory. This guy's full of information, huh? I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. So it's good to get them though, right? We'll just have to keep an eye on them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Back to future Paul. So we got the approval from the man himself and without further ado, we went and did it. We got it done. I'm excited because I've always wanted one of these and I've just yet to make it happen. You know, go and get it. Let's get some lights on in here. It's like some vampires live in this house or something, huh? I'm excited. We actually have to acclimate this guy 
So what I'm gonna do now is acclimate this guy. It's super simple to do your own drip line. You just get this little tube in. Stick it in. Good to go. I don't even touch these lights, so I haven't even, I don't even know where the app is. There it is. Oh my gosh, it lights up the whole room. This is so fun to do. I haven't done this in a while. White. We'll bring down the blue. And that's perfect. Eh, a little bit less blue. The blue is horrible for the... F oh my gosh. I have not used this color since I've gotten everything. Blue and moon is all it stays on. This is crazy to see it white. I wish all the corals were out, but it is nighttime right now. But look at this tank in white. It looks nuts. The fish's colors you can really see when the tank is white like this. Oh my god, dude. There's the corals from last video. Oh, our little shrimp hanging on the rock. What else we got to see when it's white? He's absolutely just chowing away. Oh, little harp tail blenny. All the fish kind of hide at night. But we got perfect lighting for fish. You can really see the green, like the algae, when the white light is on. You see all the greenness and even in, like up in the sand and stuff. And it's as simple as this. We're literally just going to pop this off. Scoop them with our hands to so just get our hand a little wet. Oh my gosh, it's so weird looking. Look at that thing. It's got like purple claws. It's like a spider, a daddy long leg. Here we go. So pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like a spider. See you later, buddy. Oh my, you're a beast. Like an absolute beast. That thing's huge. Look at him. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, very weird looking crab, that's for sure. His legs are all over the place now. He's He's gotta get used to the tank, see how he's real jolty. Like He's gotta find his spots that he likes to hang out and be around. Arrow crab, and they have the name arrow crab because you see their head, it's shaped as if it's an arrow. So that is where these crabs get their name. Pretty self-explanatory, but just in case you didn't know, that's where they got the name from. And this crab right here will be in this tank unless it does exactly what Tommy was explaining, harms anything. We have all the fish, we have all the corals, and then you just look right here, and this is beautiful big crab that looks like a spider. Gives me the heebie-jeebies, but it's cool. I honestly like it, and it was fun snorkeling today. I love going out there and doing that. I'm actually gonna pick up the camera tomorrow morning, and hopefully this guy's still good. I know sometimes when you put them into a new aquarium, they're very fragile and they can die, but we just keep our fingers crossed, and we'll see what happens in the morning. Bam, it's the next morning. It's nice and blue in the room again. I gotta feed them, but down in this corner is our arrow crab. He's found his little spot right there, a little spider in the corner. So I mentioned to you, he's gonna find a spot that he liked and that's where he's gonna stay. And you can see him, he's just chilling right here. Right in that back corner right there. There he is. Little mysis shrimp. Oh, oh, light, light, light. Don't wanna run that electric bill anymore. <laughs> Let's feed these little guys real quick. How I feed this saltwater tank is I just grab, oh, well, I usually don't drop them. Three frozen cubes, three of them. Now I put them on that jet in the back over there. You'll see them, see them all connected to the jet and that's because I'm not gonna be here this afternoon. You'll see the jet just pushes the food out like that, defrosts it right away, spreads it throughout the entire tank, but that's four instead of what I normally do, two in the morning, two in the afternoon, two at night. These fish eat a lot, but since I'm not gonna be here this afternoon, I need to double feed them. And it's as easy as that. See him grabbing the food and putting it into his mouth? That's a great sign. Good sign, as long as you keep him well fed, I don't think he's gonna mess with anything. Freaks me out. That is the weirdest looking creature ever. He's just grabbing shrimp left and right. Well, we're at my mom's, and there's a whole lot of orders to be packed. We've gotten labels on all these, still working on all of these, and all these. Y'all yep. killed it, I'm telling you. <laughs> Every single time I do one of these jobs, you'll absolutely slaughter it. Now we do have a bunch of PC sign packs still available. So these right here consist of six cards. It's a guaranteed reverse holo or holo card inside with the chances of hitting the God pack and even that fat Pikachu. Get yourself a pack right now as soon as you possibly can because they're not gonna last long. Top link in the description. Not only are these available, I actually just reimburse the entire site. Is that the word, Mom? Reim yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> Restocked. Restocked, that's a better word. <laughs> Restocked the entire site. With a bunch of first edition cards. These are all first edition. A bunch of other cards from my personal collection. I think a lot of those honestly sold already. A bunch of sealed packs. Not even open yet. Hidden Fates right there. While my mom packs and helps me out. Thank you, mom. 
And here is the site. Now you go here, we got the mystery tins right here. The descriptions of all the products show exactly what they consist of. McDonald's packs. Get those while you can. There's only like 20 available. Comes with a sheet of stickers too. Look at that. First edition cards right there. Look at these poles. Look at these poles. Ooh wee. Hollow. Now you go up here to the PC cards. This will have all my personal cards that are for sale. I'll, as you can see, literally put that up last night. They're already selling out. Next page, you'll have uh, even more. Go up here to sealed packs, click that, and here are all your sealed packs. As you can see, uh, those sold out already, sold. And then highest value cards, you really wanna get into some crazy stuff, there you go. I say this to encourage anyone that hasn't went to the site yet and got something to go get it now because it's going to sell out. And I mentioned before, this is the last Pokemon drop I'm doing. I'm just like restocking the site because it went so much faster than I thought. So there's more stuff on the site. Hurry up and get the stuff while you can, right mom? Right. Right! Go get it while you can. Until next time, Pharaohs, I will see you in that very next video. And you'll know it's gonna be an absolute banger. Peace out.